Hello, my name is Maria Laffey. I'm the head of the Career Development Centre here in the University of Galway. I'm going to focus on, in this presentation, postgraduate employability. So first I'm going to cover the overview of our Career Development Centre here and the services you would receive as a registered student. Um, postgraduate employability, what does it mean? What are employers looking for? And the return of investment of the cost of the postgraduate programme that you will pay. So firstly, our Career Development Centre here is divided into four pillars. We have a student delivery team that supports career guidance and information, uh, provides employability and skills events, uh, particularly linked to employers on campus, careers education in the curriculum, and we support you for three years after graduation. We provide um, in graduate and internship jobs from our portal, and we support our service through Digital Toolkit, um, which is a suite of AI tools that I will discuss later, um, that support you in terms of CV interview skills and information on uh, what to do next, the job market, etc. We also have a work-based learning team. The team supports over 1,800 students for both undergrad placement and postgrad placement. We have 5,000 active employers on our database and we manage compliance and risks assessment. We work very closely with the disability office in terms of supporting anyone that may need accommodations while out on placement. Um, and we produce monthly uh, metrics with regards to our placement numbers, numbers of jobs, interviews and so on. The third pillar is our employability award. So this is really for students who don't have an opportunity to do placement, both at undergrad or postgrad. It uniquely identifies you as a USP for employers. We have over 1,200 who have completed the award since 2018, currently 900 working on it this year alone. Um, it gives you the employability skills that employers are looking for in the market today. It gives you an opportunity to connect with employers and prepare your CV and interview, and it goes on your diploma supplement. Our final pillar is our employer engagement. We work very closely with employers. Um, we provide graduate and internship fairs for all sectors. We have an employer of the week, so it's an opportunity to meet with employers um, and ask your questions of the skills that they are looking for. We also help employers with their branding and we provide wider collaboration for employers to other parts of the university so that they may um, give master lectures in a particular programme, for example, that you might decide to enrol in. So some of the services we provide is one to one career guidance on your subject choice, your career options decision-making, self-awareness. We help you with your job searching strategies, your job applications, interview skills practice, opportunity to network employers. We publish our events matrix every two weeks. That goes on across all our social media platforms. As I mentioned, the Employability Award, we have a jobs portal that uh, you can search for jobs after graduation or internship opportunities. So for example, last year, we had over 1900 jobs advertised for students and employers specifically advertise the jobs on our portal. And obviously then, as I've mentioned, embedded work placement. Just so to support um, our service and to have a wider student engagement, we uh, have an AI digital toolkit. So we have a CV builder called CareerSet. Uh, it supported 16,500 CVs last year alone. Um, Big Interview is our mock interview tool. So you can see we had over nearly 10,000 questions answered by students in their mock interviews. And we have a virtual information library. So all of the hard copy information we have here in the centre, we have placed virtually on a SharePoint site that is dedicated to the student need. So this is an example of our SharePoint library. Um, you can book in for careers advice. You can see opportunities with your degree or your postgraduate programme, where you start in terms of your career options and um, connect in to the employability ward, or even in terms of looking back at our previous events. So we have a suite of recorded events from employers that you may be interested in applying to. And so it's, it's a good idea to have a look at those events to see what are the skills, the attributes that they are looking for in a, a graduate. So let's talk about employability and, and how it pertains to a postgraduate qualification. Where does that position you in the market? So the top reasons for studying a postgrad programme, it enhances your employability in, by future-proofing your skill set. 
So if you're doing a, a general degree and you decide, for example, to do um, a master's in HR, you're now focusing in on a specialization. And that means a lot more to employers. You're going to stand out in the market. You're going to be more attractive to international job market, where now postgraduate qualification is actually the norm and a requirement. It will help in terms of your progression in careers. And in terms of, for many postgraduate qualifications, you actually need, um, for many careers, you need a postgraduate qualification, such as teaching, social work, law, accounting. It's an investment in your own personal development, um, increases your salary potential, and I'm going to discuss that later, and about how about in the return of investment, how much does it increase your salary potential? And it also helps if you're changing career direction. So in, the, in today's market, globalization um, and our rapid di digitalization, particularly we saw it in COVID, um, has really changed our lifestyles, consumer preferences, and what jobs are the most in demand. So if you think about technologies everywhere, we're hearing about AI, Microsoft versus Google in terms of their chatbot. Uh, what is the uh, careers that will be replaced by automation? We're living longer. So the, your career is uh, can span from uh, into your 70s or 80s. Um, and the types of careers are changing in terms of, uh, for, for many, it used to be career for life, but for now we see at least four times someone will change their career in their lifetime. So how does a postgraduate qualification set you up for that? It gives you skills and the skills of the future workforce are emotional intelligence, flexibility, adaptive thinking, cultural awareness, your continuous learning, communication. And we've seen now with COVID, our virtual collaboration has become really important. And these were skills that were identified by Deloitte in 2020. They're critical because we need to be able to future-proof ourselves and focus on the development of skills that will position you to capitalize on these new careers. So why is a postgraduate qualification valued by employers? They report that, the, they, that you have the appropriate levels of educational accomplishment. Um, and so if, if they're looking at someone who has a, a level eight degree versus a postgraduate qualification level nine, they will go to the level nine application to shortlist. They see transferable skills that you have developed. It reduces graduate productivity timelines. So often employers will say, that when they hire a graduate, it can take up to 18 months for that graduate to be productive. Having a postgraduate qualification and the year you spent doing that uh, automatically shortens those timelines for an employer. You're bringing that well-rounded specialized knowledge, as I said before, if you do a, a, a master's in HR or a master's in, in strategy, you're, you're bringing that specialized knowledge into an organization. And as well, you're actually showing that you have a passion for your career path by further studying and gaining more information and more learning about that particular career path. So what are those transferable skills? How will a postgraduate give you those skills? So in terms of uh, teamwork, problem solving, conflict resolution, you're going to do those in group projects. Um, in terms of Communication skills, building your debate, discussion, giving presentations, uh, working with your, uh, your teams and your project teams. Analysis skills and critical thinking developed from your research. Um, and in terms of problem solving of any uh, thesis that you're working on. Looking at activities as well, like field trips, site visits, employer guest lectures, insight days, working with alumni, all are going to build skills that uh, employers are looking for and developed from a postgraduate program. And while some of these skills are developed at an undergraduate level, the postgraduate program classes are smaller. So you have a much better opportunity to develop those skills in, in a, a more concentrated context. You enhance your employability. As I said, it elevates your learning. The class sizes are small. The time taken to do a postgrad qualification for many employers is equivalent to work experience. Um, and research has shown that your earning potential and career progression actually increases if you're a postgraduate um, uh, 
employee. So how do you improve your employability after graduation? You need to provide evidence of the added value of your course. So specific relevant modules, the content, how it is relevant, communicate those transferable skills that you've learned, any extra training uh, that you've done, any research, any knowledge that you've done, um, specialist knowledge or relevant placement experience. So for example, here in the University of Galway, many of our postgraduate programs actually have a placement experience. And we've seen an 85% retention rate by employers for uh, those placement students into graduate positions. So just a quote there from um, Jim Sterner from Amazon, the postgraduates often have a strong sense of intellectual curiosity and maturity and that thrive in Amazon's culture. And we see that from a lot of employers that you're bringing that maturity to their organization. So let's talk about the money because the cost for postgraduate program is expensive. Um, and uh, when will you see that return on that investment? So the, these bar charts actually give the, um, the salary figures for both a postgrad and an undergrad um, student. You see there within nine months that we see an average of um, 68.8 undergrads are employed after nine months, where you see an 83% of our, under, our postgraduates hired within nine months. And that's across all sectors. So you're seeing a higher, a quicker hiring rate for postgraduate within the industries. And then in terms of salary, where does that position you? So we're seeing actually an average increase of 8,000 more starting salary for postgraduate than an undergraduate. So if you consider the cost of a postgraduate program goes between six to 9,000, you're actually gaining a return of investment in your first year alone with your starting salary. And not only is you're gaining in that first year, but it would take your graduate at least two to three years to gain on that 8,000. And at that point, you've moved further um, up in your career and that comes salary increase as well. So we've seen that is really important figure that we're, and this, these are figures that we're, we're getting from the uh, graduate outcome survey that we conduct uh, every year, nine months after our undergrads and postgrads uh, graduate and complete their studies. Um, and this is across uh, all sectors. And you, and you can see the different regions in Ireland, there's still an increase in the salary of a postgraduate applicant. So at the end of the day, um, you're from an employer's perspective, um, a lot more attractive, much more productive, and as they say, you're worth it. So if you'd like to follow us on social media, here are our social media handles, and uh, you can follow the type of events we do and information about our services um, and how to connect with us. Thank you. <laughs>